Top of the morning to you. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Um, so today I am going to do a pour that um, is inspired by uh, acrylic painting with Julie E. It is a wandering ring pour, but it's a there and back. So she rings it one way and then pulls it back the other way in the same swipe, in the same pour. Um, so I will put the description to her uh, channel and that particular video in the description box. So please go and check her out. She is a very good friend of mine and um, a fellow artist and fellow YouTuber. And uh, so let's let's get her to get to a thousand subscribers. Um, also, this very cute shirt. Um, it is made by a local clothing artist here in the Cleveland area, and his name is James Lute, and he is the owner of Next World Clothing. And how cute is this shirt? Super cute, right? And he does ship. Um, so I will put the, all the links to his shop and everything in the description box as well. So I hope you have a lucky day and we'll have Eric get me down to the canvas and we'll get this thing started. Put my apron on so I don't get it all over my cute shirt. Okay. So, I mean, I really am going to uh, use greens, 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 because why not, right? Um, let me let you know what I'm doing here. I've got a 15 by 30 canvas, level three gallery wrapped. And of course, I always save those because I like to use them for like swipers and stuff. And let's go through what I'm using today. I've got the Amsterdam Titanium White, and I put the Deco Art Americana Decor Satin Enamels in it. This big of a cup, I put maybe a tablespoon and a half to two tablespoons in it. And then I'm using Amsterdam's Emerald Green and Amsterdam's Thalo Green. And I added in both of those to give them a little bit of a sparkle because today is a sparkly kind of day. I put some Iridescent Pearl Fine in both of those. And then I'm using the Amsterdam Turquoise Green. I think you see the theme here, right? And then I'm using the Color Shift, the Folk Art Color Shift Emerald Flash. And then of course, what's luckier than 24K, Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics. So I've been watching Julie's video. I watched it a few times because I watched how she layered the cup and then I watched how she poured it and um, We're gonna, we're gonna see if I can make it the same, but you know, change it up a little bit, crustify it, right? So we're gonna start with my big cup because this is a big canvas. And I think I'm gonna start with the color flash or the color shift. Well, let's put a little bit of that in there. And then I'll use some of this, uh, Eeks, what is this? Oh, this is the emerald green. The Amsterdam. And then I'm gonna put in a little bit of gold. Now, what do I do with gold? I lock it in. I'm gonna lock it in with this white. And then I'm gonna go into the phthalo green. And then 
and I'll put the turquoise green. What I'm trying to do is put light on top of dark because when I'm when I pour it out, it's gonna show like ribbons. So um, I want to kind of make them contrasting so that it's not when I'm pouring it out, the ribbons aren't all being crazy. So that was a 24K. I'm going to lock it in. And then I'll go back into the flash. I'll put the emerald green on top of that again. Don't want anything to be matchy matchy. Rather it stand out and be its own color. 24K. And then do this white again. And then I'll do the phthalo green. And the turquoise green. And then I'll do the gold again. And then lock it in. And go into the flash again. My cup's almost full. So that's good news. So I think this time I'm going to do, yeah, I'll do the emerald green. And then I'll do the phthalo green. And I will end this cup with the turquoise green. Okay, super full cup. So I'm gonna set these up here just to get them out of the way. There's not much left in any of them. Set this over here and set this aside. So I think what I'm gonna do because I'm gonna need a flow extender. I think I'm going to add a little bit more white in this cup. Rule of thumb, always have extra white. This one doesn't have any of the uh, satin enamel in it because it's my handy dandy white. My always have it. And I'm going to add some water to it. Just a little bit. And I'm going to mix that up. So I've got everything ready so I don't have to stop pouring. Okay, that's fine. All right. So we are going to pour this out. Wish me luck. I'm going to start going back. And I'm dying to see what this does with me using my pouring medium versus using hers. Because I think I'm going to get some sweet transparency in here. All right, 
right now I'm just gonna drag it off the side. I'm gonna save what's left in my cup in case I need to tend my corners. All right, y'all, I got cell action. Cause that satin enamel. Torch it here. Some of these bubbles are being testy. Being stubborn. There we go. As they rise to the top, I just come back and pop them. Okay, we're gonna pour this flow extender around. And we're gonna, I think I'm gonna omelet turn it too. Use that omelet turner to spread it out. Okay, Let's scrape my cup here. Got my dog over here looking at me. She's like, she's already had her cookies, so she's got no reason to be hanging out. Other than the fact that she just loves her mommy. I'm the one that spoils her. Okay, set this cup aside. And let me get my omelet turner out. Scooch all this paint up to the edge. Now when Julie did this, she um, did this inspired by, when she did it, it was inspired by Mina Villegas. So um, I'll put Mina's, uh, original video to this type of pour in the description box as well. And Julie used uh, real bright, bold colors, but I thought it would be fun for St. Patty's Day because I thought, you know what? I could really put some greens and golds together and it'll be kind of cool. Okay, let me finish spreading this out on this side. And I don't have my paper towel out. Bad on me. Okay. All right, I'm gonna torch what I just spread out and then we're gonna stretch this. Lots of bubbles when you use the omelet turner. Okay. So I am going to take it this way first. See if I can't get some of these rings to stretch out. I think I just want to catch this edge real quick and then I'm going to pull it back. That's it and then I'm going to pull it back. Because see, all these other things are attached to that as you're, see how it's stretching out? Everything kind of, once it's together, it's trying to be friends with the stuff around it. So I'm gonna catch it down here just a little bit and then I'm gonna bring it back. Then I'm going to get the weight of my paint back in the middle and I'm going to go down this way. I just want to catch it real quick 
and then I'm going to bring it back. I think I'm going to bring it all the way down this way, and I'll definitely bring it back to show you. Just catching it real fast, and then I'm going to bring it back. Try to get my stuff centered again. I'm going to bring it down here. all this stuff going on here. I really don't want to lose any of it, but I'm going to have to. So I'm going to take it off that corner and I'm going to bring it back. And then I'm going to bring it down to this corner. Now that the weight of my paint is down here, let me turn it around so you all can see. trying not to keep anything a secret here. I'd rather show you and you go, wait, I can't see. So the weight's down there. I'm going to take it off that end. It's mostly going this way, so I'm going to try to keep it level. Let's see what it wants to do here. Okay, and then I'm gonna bring it back. I saved my beautiful gold cells. There is a total dog hair in here. Got it. Okay. It was just cookie time. She is very serious about the love of her cookies. We get her those cookies that look like real Oreos, but they're for doggies. All right, this is moving really slow. We're just gonna do this way. Here, I'll show you. How slow it's moving. It's crazy pants. What's it doing over there? I gotta get on my tippy toes because I can't see. All right, the weight of my paint's there. I'm gonna bring it back. And then I'm gonna turn it around. I love these 15 by 30 canvases. They make me so happy inside. You can put so much amazing effects in a 15 by 30. I'm just pulling it straight down because I've got a lot of white up there to handle. And I'm going to start pulling it this way. And pull it on this way again. The paint's trying to control me instead of me control the paint. And y'all know I don't let it be the boss of me. And okay, I'm over. All right, then I'm gonna bring it back. Okay. 
I'm going to recenter it a little bit. So it dries evenly. And we are going to leave it alone. Okay, so I'm going to tend my corners as always. pull it this way and add this dark green instead of letting that light take over. My goodness, my hands are full of paint. I'll do the same over here. This darker green. And then before I drip everywhere, I'm going to take my gloves off. I will get that other corner with my stick. Okay, let's get this corner. Okay, I think all corners are done. So let's bring it down for the close up. All right, so the satin enamels, look what they did with that gold. Yum, I got some sweet cell action transparent cell action. You can still see the rings. We need, I can't wait to see it dry because I really do think that we're gonna be able to see underneath this and see the rings that were put underneath it. So we're skimming across the top here, going over to this gold. I just got really cool cells. Now this is more, way more emerald green than what is showing up. And I think that flash is gonna be super cool. Yeah, see the transparency starting to come through right there? I think there's gonna be a lot of that once it starts to dry. You know, give it 20 minutes, pain's gonna to look totally different. All right, y'all, I hope you have a super fun day and may the luck be with you. <laughs> All right, have a good day, y'all. Happy St. Patty's Day. Bye.